Hi, it's Nicola and welcome. I have a book review for you today, No Friend But The Mountains by Baruch Buchani. And I ha also have a free gift, so stay with me to the end. If you're looking to write a life story for yourself or a loved one, this one can be really helpful. And if you haven't met me before or come across Forever Young Autobiographies, it's the place where we learn to write life stories for family and friends. And please follow, subscribe and like the show. Imagine you're a writer without pen and without paper and you're basically locked up in an isolated prison on an island. This is what became of Kurdish Iranian refugee Bouchani and he went to great lengths to find a way to write this book. He used smuggled mobile phones and really long text messages and a translator to get this book written. It came out by, with Pan Macmillan and has won the Australian National Biography Award, plus countless others. And there's a lot we can take as aspiring life writers from his work. To give an overview of the story, Bruchani says he was a child of war growing up in Iran. He went on to become a writer, a journalist, a scholar, a filmmaker. He doesn't give specific reasons why he, be, he has to leave his country, but we find out from the very beginning that he, of the book that he takes a flight to Indonesia and then a series of boat journeys um, with people smugglers to uh, Australian territory where he is then uh, grouped with other refugees in a detention centre on Christmas Island and then moved to an, another detention centre at Manus Island in Papua New Guinea. There's some really interesting uh, things that I wanted to draw attention to, to you for this book. And number one is it's so hard to categorise. It has elements of a memoir, definitely. And in the introduction, they say it is almost a um, horrific realism. But it is essentially a prison story for me and it is a rare insight into life on Manus Island. Uh, the key theme of the book that is, is, goes right through is Buchani describes it as the Kiriakal system, which is the system he says the Australian federal government uses to control the prisoners or the refugees. And he says this is, breaks down their mind and their spirit and that almost they're treated like pieces of meat. And he gives examples of this system, the way they're given a number or they're referred to by number instead of name. And that in itself has me thinking of the Holocaust and death camps and that kind of thing and the tattoos. So there's the whole number system and not the names. There's constant surveillance with cameras and there's body searches and endless lines to wear you down, whether that's lines for food, for the bathroom, for the toilet, for health care. Then there's for cigarettes, for razors. It's just an endless life of monotony and lines. As life writers, though, I think reading this book can give us some really great lessons. Number one is that you really don't have an excuse not to write a life story. If Bruchani can find a way to do it in an isolated prison with no pen and paper, then surely we can stop procrastinating ourselves. We have a, a real motivation to write. You know, other people out there just can't and we have the ability to do that. So that was a, a key point for me. Another one is that his writing style is so poetic and almost lyrical. He paints such vivid and colourful imagery that we can take a lot from that for our own writing as inspiration. And he is a master of characters. He, he is great at describing their subtle characteristics, their mannerisms and their internal workings. He has great names for fellow refugee characters such as the Prime Minister. There's also the whore, there's the, uh, the giant and the cow. So just that, the names alone conjures up a lot. Now, I really think this is a book that everybody should read, whether that's uh, Australian, non-Australian. It is a book of great creativity and struggle. And I think, um, you know, if we can just take a little bit of Bichani's extreme uh, determination to get 
uh, to be creative and to document things, then we, we can take it for our own writing. If you'd like to know more, head over to my website at foreveryoungorderbiography.com slash um, Baruz Buchani and I'll drop a link for you so you don't for the spelling for that one. Um, there'll be pictures of the books of him and other resources so please have a look. And while you're there, let me know, have you read the book or do you want to read the book? What did you think of it? And perhaps it's uh, twigged for other books that you think I might need to do a review on. Let me know, I'd love to hear about it. And while you're here, please, uh, I, I mentioned, if you're looking to write a life story yourself or for a loved one, I've got a free gift for you and that's the Structure Success Training. And it's key um, points or exercises that will map out a rough outline for your own writing so you have something to go on with. So I'll leave a link for that over at the website and I'll drop one here for you too. So sign up, that one is really helpful and it's free. Now I'll be back again soon with a new video so please follow, subscribe and like the show and until then happy writing and happy reading.